Okay, guess what time? <laughs> mail call. Not much mail today, just one little package and I don't really know what it is. There's a FedEx slip on the door and I find those so disappointing. You think you're gonna get the thing and instead you just get a slip saying, you have to wait another day for the thing. So this is from something called Morpheus. I don't even know what that is. I still don't know what this is. Oh, I want to know what it is. <laughs> it's my magnetic car phone holder. So I can set my phone up on the dashboard and turn it around and film me driving or film me talking while I'm driving and don't have to be holding the phone because I've been waiting for somebody to say, are you filming these road scenes while you're driving the car? And I was going to have to say, who, me? Would I do that? So, yeah, I guess one side sticks to the de- Ooh, ooh, that's a cool magnet. The, it's a metal, metal table. <laughs> okay. Ah! Filmmaker extraordinaire right here. All right, so I'll take that in the car with me tomorrow. Set that up. That is fun. But that's all I have for mail call. What you are going to get to watch me do is clean my room. Um, I've been needing to... It's been a mess ever since this past weekend when I couldn't find the gift for the shower I was going to. And I tore everything apart. Like, I just pulled a bunch of stuff out of the closet. And I was looking for ribbon. And so that's another thing that had to come out of the closet. And it's just a mess in there. And now, uh, just this evening when I came home from work... The neighbor across the street was throwing out a nice vintage dresser. It, you know, it's seen better days. It could use a little TLC, but I kind of like things that way. And I've been looking for a wider than high dresser. It's not the dresser of my dreams, but the ones I was seeing like on Craigslist were either stupid expensive or they were reasonable, but they were in New Jersey or Connecticut. And I was going to have to drive there and was going to fit in my car and who was going to help me carry it in. This way the guy was right in his front yard. So Karen and I went across the street and the guy helped me carry it over. And it's a nice story because he's lived in that house across the street all his life. He and his wife moved out for like 20 years and the parents still owned it. So they rented it out to another couple and that couple left the dresser when they moved out and he said that it was his mother's dresser. So it's sort of nice to know, not that I know these people really, but just sort of always nice to know the little bit of the story about um, the things that you have. And I like, I like old furniture for that reason. So I'm gonna move some stuff around in my bedroom so I can put the dresser not in its permanent spot, but in its temporary spot, because with Christmas coming, I've had to put a lot more stuff in the bedroom than will normally be there. Plus, once I have the dresser, some of the stuff from the bedroom can go in the dresser. It's, I've been waiting for the dresser so I can unpack more bedroom boxes. And um, yeah, so I'll see if I can do a little cleaning montage. I know that will be very exciting for you. And that's really about, that's really about all I'm gonna have today. Uh, it was a quiet day at work. I went to Target. I tried on some things, but they're gonna go in a try-on haul you know, dressing room try on video. I, I, my, ah, my mind, my mind is drawing a blank right now on what that's called, <laughs> but it's called something. Anyway, that'll go up on the vlog tomorrow. Um, and the link will be in my blog and will also be on my YouTube channel. So now I'm just babbling, so I'm gonna go and you'll see me again when I'm cleaning my room, probably after I eat dinner. Okay, bye. I don't know if this gives you any sort of view whatsoever. Uh, maybe. It's just not really that wide a lens. And it looks like the bed is sort of in your way. Huh. I don't know where else to put you. Anyway, I'm just going to go with it. So, this is the wall. Oh, so you can't even see it. <laughs> this is the wall with all this stuff on it. Oh, this is hard to do. Just that. Any better? No, that's backwards again. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't know what you're seeing. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm having a hard time finding a place to set you that you can see everything in here. This is the bedroom. It's a big mess right now. But that's the wall that has like all stuff pushed on it as that is not yet put away because I didn't have a dresser to put it away in. And oh, there I am. Oh no, that's not me. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Hi. Um, and as I've been moving things out of the uh, living room to make room for the Christmas tree. Bras. <laughs> Caleb. So I'm trying to figure out a place to put you where you can sort of see what's going on as I try to make room for this new dresser. Here comes Jane. Um, all right, I'm going to see if I can figure that out. I want to show you the outfit of the day. Um, I look like a cat burglar. I don't know why it keeps not staying in focus. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, just the Gloria Vanderbilt blue jeans, a Rachel Roy. It's like very heavy. I'll show you a close up in a second. Um, asymmetrical hem, turtleneck sweater, and this little hat from Old Navy. So I don't have to keep wearing the sort of summery cotton cap anymore. But here I'm going to turn around. And I know it's sort of dark over here, but you see it's sort of, I'm trying to get it in the light more, but it's just dark in here. I'm trying to show you how it's dark gray with like some lighter gray threads running through it. So it's not just like a solid, solid, solid. And I did not wear my slippers all day. I wore the black sneakers for a change. So that was the very thrilling out for the day. It was very cold today. I just was not up to the whole tights and shoes and my feet are killing me. They're ready to, I'm ready to be off my feet for the day. I think I'm going to get into a bath. Okay, good night. Okay, this might work. I feel like you have sort of a good view of much of the room. Bear in mind, I'm not really trying to clean the room. <clears throat> I'm just trying to put all the stuff back in the closet I pulled out the other day and make room for the dresser. So here it goes. drawer back into the closet. That still needs to be accessible for Christmas time. Nightgown and sweater stay out for bedtime. Silk underwear stays accessible because it's winter now. A glove. <clears throat> I need to find the other glove that goes with it. Look, more jeans that I've already worn that I haven't taken the tag off yet. I don't know why you do that. <laughs> tights. I don't know what tights those are. Little socks. Leggings. I need to reorganize this underwear tight sock weird miscellaneous drawer. I'm sure you guys would love to see that. <clears throat> this is a whole bag of stuff. It's not a whole bag. It's a little bag of stuff. I found I was looking for the gift the other day. Like from Michaels, from April 4th, 2014. I don't know why I thought I needed these things. Don't know. Obviously, I didn't need them that, that, that badly because I've never used them. Some of these things are jewelry making things, jump rings and some little silver chain. I've gotten into jewelry making for a little while. Some adhesive rhinestones, everybody needs those. 
and no longer have like a easily accessible craft place in my apartment. So guess what? I think craft things are going to blend with ribbon things. I have to clean out the ribbon dresser. It's a three drawer big thing. Um, yeah. More tights. <clears throat> sort of weird thinking people are watching me clean my room. But it makes me do it. These are bags of things I bought online. And I kept the bags and the receipts in case I was going to return the things. What is this? Or maybe I'm pretty sure I kept that. UPS, JC Penny, those things are returned already. Target, I've returned, I just did a Target return today. Shop Smart Outlets. This was Laura Vanderbilt women's plus size jeans. Wearing them right now, keeping Charlotte Bruce. Kept all of that. And the old tenants air conditioner cover, which could probably go in the trash. So this is all trash. Yay. Making trash makes me happy. And one glove. I just have to find the other glove. I think I'll keep this just in case. I don't know in case what, but just in case. sock. Another cardigan. I never really wear robes like if I'm cold. I put a cardigan over my nightgown so I never really have robes. <clears throat> this is a pile of things that need to go be washed but all my hampers are filled with stuff. So, so the dirty clothes just lay on top of something. Right, these are all blankets and stuff that really need to find a home. Yeah, that's sort of a bigger closet job. My daughter can help me with that. But in the meantime, I'm sort of feeling like the dresser is going to go on this wall for now because this is a much bigger project to clear this. Although ultimately that's where the dresser is going to go. But Those are things I have to sell. That's all a project for another day. Um, this is where I put my out of season clothes in this vintage hamper. And I sort of wish it wasn't just out like this. That's a horrible sound. I'm probably not too good for the floor either. Okay, so I think there's enough room there for the dresser. I'm going to bring it in. <clears throat> Thank you. 
compressor in. Now stuff can accumulate on top of the dresser. Oh, it feels weird here. This room's been so like, other than this messy wall, it's been very um, open and clear of stuff. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna get the drawers. This drawer has a little keyhole in it that I can put a little old key with a tassel on it. How cute is that? Very excited. Ooh. It needs a little TLC, definitely. difference. I feel like the other drawer is much flatter fronted. This one's so bowed. Caleb, you could not be in a worse spot right now. On top I have two lamps a set of matching lamps that I've had for years and years waiting for a wide dresser to go on yeah. I'll show you the new dresser clothes. It's nice. It's just, I like something vintage with a little bit of vintage detailing, but not too ornate. And this is that. Um, it'll probably keep like linens and stuff in here because all my t-shirts and jeans and nightgowns and tights and things are in this dresser. So this is more for other kinds of storage so that more of that stuff those boxes of things can be put away and I'm not sure how to deal with the top but I'll figure it out and like I said this is ultimately going to go in this wall over here but for now after Christmas I'll move it yay I'm excited plus I got the room a little a little straightened up just pretend like that doesn't even exist that's not going to be straightened up till after Christmas but all this other messy stuff, those are nighttime clothes, are all put away. I'll keep showing you my bras. Okay, that's it. Thanks for helping.